What is up everyone, I am Deviant Cringe, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at some uh, Steven Universe stuff. Yeah, um, uh, if you wonder how I came about uh, this, I, uh, well, basically I was thinking about the uh, recent Steven Universe video I did, and, uh, I don't know, I kinda wanted to look up uh, some, uh, some stuff with uh, SU, maybe to torture myself slowly till I go blind, but anyway, let's take a look at what we have for today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, take a look at this. Um, I'm gonna just, uh, just let you try to figure out what the hell this is supposed to be right now, okay? Like, uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, get this, everyone. I just found out this exists today, okay? This is supposed to be glowing tongue fetish. I am not shitting you. Just let it sink in for a few minutes. Let it sink in for a few minutes. There are people that actually get off to glowing fucking tongues. Now I get it. That, uh, now I get that it's, uh, that it's uh, pretty attractive when uh, girls put on like a uh, neon uh, neon lipstick and all that stuff. But this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, take a look at it. Like from an art perspective, like in terms of quality, it's it's nice. But uh, this is like uh, uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like kind of looks like a female version of the Krampus, if you ask me. You know, this kind of reminds me of that one scene in uh, Outlast 2 when the guy starts licking you all over. By the way, it's a shitty game. Don't uh, don't waste your money on it and all that stuff. Ocean Glow. Okay, so another th a weird thing uh, off the list. Uh, glowing Tongues. This time I know I'm not the first one to do it, but I don't think there's an ar enough art of this fetish. Really? Well, I just think... I, I think this is more than enough. I actually think one picture is more than enough, if you ask me. There are a few more of these pictures. I'll alternate between them with more BBW stuff, so... Uh, if you don't like them, you'll soon find something interesting on my page, my Patreon, more Steven Universe pictures, more glowing stuff, no thank you very much. I really like the idea, but this seems weirdly sexual. It is if you want it to be. You know, ladies and gents, I really did not know what the hell this is supposed to be until I read the title. Steven Universe Drowning Fetish. Okay, so first off, you know, Steven, uh, like, drowning fetish, okay? Like, uh, where the hell is your brain? And second, you are a prime contender for the Darwin Olympics. And second of all, uh, Steven is a 12-year-old boy, and apparently you drew him without any pants on. Even though you gave him the whole Ken doll treatment, it's still pretty much the same thing. Uh, also, uh, this one arm is bigger than the other. I don't know what the hell's going on with these legs. Maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, fucking someone ran him over or whatever. And thirdly, what the hell is this supposed to be? What, is that like another piece of rope that somehow snapped off or whatever? The funny thing is, the bubbles are pretty much in perfect synchrony with each other. How the hell does that even happen? Second of all, Steven's body is like a bluish hue because of the water. This is like nothing's happening to it, so what the hell's going on here? Steven Universe Drowning Fetish. Steven Universe Drowning Fetish slash Water Bondage. Oh my gosh, this is so sexy. Thank you for contribution for a special folder. Oh. I can't stand up now, thanks. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, I don't even want to know. Okay, so now we're going into, uh, a giantess uh, diaper fetish shit. Yeah. And also it says, let's eat. Like that fucking, uh, that one fucking shitty ass robot from, uh, piece of dog shit Five Nights at Freddy's. Holy goddamn fuck. Are you kidding me? This, uh, this whole thing is still going on. You gotta be fucking shitting me, man. You know, everyone, uh, before I start, uh, going off again, I will say that at least the head and the face are, uh, are, uh, nicely drawn, you know? It does look, uh, pretty nice. But first off, what the hell is with that hand? Those fingers don't look normal. Also, uh, it, it's so funny how, uh, the rest of the body kind of looks okay, but, uh, the arm... And, uh, this over here kind of has these sketchy lines, like, uh, the picture's unfinished or something. You know, you'd think that if you would want to make a piece of art that people would actually fab to, you'd, uh, you'd try to work your damnedest to keep them, uh, keep them entertained, you know? Instead of, uh, leaving some little tidbits like this. Oh, and another thing that's actually good, the coloring, you know, the coloring, uh, it, it doesn't take, uh, it doesn't take uh, that much skill to actually normally color TV Universe characters, but, uh, you know, you can tell when someone does it right and someone does it badly, like, this one is actually done, uh, quite okay. Although most of it uh, doesn't even have any color, for fuck's sake. Hungry Hungry Gem, old unposted Steven Universe fan art, character Amethyst, possibly inspired by a YouTube video that I will not be watching, and of course comments have been disabled. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Not Peridot, for fuck's sake. My favorite character in this whole goddamn show, and look at what they did to her, look. Like, what is this supposed to be? Come on. She's fucking dead. Look at her. 
And poor little Pearl, like, uh, that fucking nose is gonna be poking out of there. It's gonna be like that one fucking video where the anaconda ate a porcupine and it was, like, overloaded with fucking spikes and shit. And, you know, this is actually a good example of someone who can, like, draw really, really well, because this looks super cool. You know, in terms of quality and stuff, you know, drawing skills. And just, why this? You know, like, you could just do some awesome stuff and, you know, you instead of make my fucking uh, favorite character of the show uh, be a goddamn cannibal. Like, thank you so much. Like, you really, uh... You really bolstered my faith in humanity there, my friend. Like, giant space Dorito rock people eating other rock people. Like, uh, good, uh, good on ya. Good job. Paradox Pearlvor, I am now officially a trash artist. Uh, let's celebrate. It was slightly hard with the layers and such, but I made it work after some time. Uh, putting, uh, putting things in the right places. I seriously made a beautiful paradox. So cute. Uh, when you know, I look at a huge belly. Please do not comment on this if you have nothing to say. Well, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of things to say. Uh, Steven Universe and its characters do doesn't belong to me. Well, at least you don't claim ownership of it. That over here is my reaction to this. Poor Peridot. Poor Pearl. Comfy in there, though. What do you mean, comfy? Uh, you think it's uh, fucking comfy being on a stomach digested alive? You son of a bitch, I ought to slap you in the face. Kill me now, I have freaking nightmares from a freaking favorite character. Yes, my friend. Michelle Game, yes, my friend, indeed. My favorite character uh, is gonna become Nightmare Fuel. Thank you so much, uh, Rebecca Vori. Thank you so much, I love you. Yes, I know I want to be eaten alive by my crush. She will poop inside her. Poop inside her. That is some, that is some fucking fetishception right there. Pearl never eats, so it's impossible for her to poop. It looks like this guy got fucking fetish cock blocked. Why are you wasting your talent on this? To get points, but if you're literally saying I got talent, if so, thank you, I guess. Well, uh, look. Like, you do have talent, but, uh, I know that sometimes, uh, times can be hard. And, uh, it's hard to come across points or money or whatever, but, uh, if you're gonna do stuff like this, be sure to, like, send it through, like, private emails or stuff or something. It's really hellish when you put it out there. Seriously. Vor isn't my thing. This is actually adorable, though. This is adorable! Well, how is it? Like, uh, yeah, um, how's being digested alive adorable? Please, uh, explain to me. Like, enlighten me the, the fucking knowledge of the Vor. Can you make Vor of someone? Awesome! Oh my god, thank you for this, it helps you a lot with my crimpling depression. I get the feeling you're being sarcastic. Really? Well, nothing gets past you, my friend. Holy fuck, you are, uh, you are one, uh, one smart cookie, ain't you? Oh my god, the anatomy! Holy shit! What the fuck? What the hell am I looking at over here? Wow! This! Oh, I am speechless. I have I haven't seen something this horrifying in a while. Oh, what is this? What are those? Those are like fucking tits. They look like fucking. I don't know what the hell that that's supposed to be. What did they do to you, Pearl? Holy fuckity god! Oh, okay. Uh... Whew, we're gonna have to get into this, uh, aren't we? Like, uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to skim through this, so I guess I gotta power through it. First off, why does Pearl look like one of the most fucked up, uh, fucked up blow-up dolls in history? Second of all, what the hell is up with those arms? Look at this one, now look at that one! And those horrible fucking legs! The hands look like fucking claws, look at those legs! It looks like she's got a fucking bulge right here. It's like uh, it's like she, she's going to a fucking tranny convention or whatever. That leg over there, uh, her right leg has absolutely no uh, knee. It's just one huge chunk of fucking gym meat. It's like she contracted that uh, good old homeworld elephantitis, am I right, everyone? Also, her face totally does not look like Pearl. Like, if you remove the gem, it'll be like a completely different character. With with a body like this, uh, this is definitely a mistake this character for someone else. I mean, what the hell is this? Oh my! You know, Pearl, if that actually happened to me, I'd be saying a lot more than fucking oh my. Just saying, Pearl, just fucking saying. Oh, and by the way, the line work is absolutely all over the fucking place. Don't even get me started on that shit. A stuffed Pearl, Amethyst dare Pearl to eat something, now uh, usually Pearl would refuse, but goodness that platter looks so very tantalizing. Don't you dare learn self-control, you look cute like that Pearl, a Pearl copyright Rebecca Sugar. What do you mean you look cute like that? Look at it! Look at her! It's a monster, fucking kill it right now. Holy crap. It looks like it would, it, it, she would be better off if someone uh, poofed her than gave her some time to regenerate, holy goddamn crappy. 
Man, she's cute. I want to snuggle with that belly. Oh yeah, really? Like you wanna, you wanna touch this? Yeah. Um, whatever. Oh, nice work. Is that some underboob I see? Oh yeah, some fucking underboob. More like a, uh, more like under fucking biscuit. Fat Pearl is the absolute best. You've earned yourself a follower. Glad you like it. I'll be doing more stuff as I'm obsessed with it right now. Thank you so much for the follow and comment. Oh yeah, you're obsessed with this. You're obsessed with uh, turning them into uh, giant fucking gem monsters. Hey, maybe these will be the new corrupted gem monsters in uh, the new season. Holy shit. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I was about to do the uh, whole uh, end of the video thing, but then I saw a fucking super long-legged PewDiePie pony. Can you believe it?